Ed, tell us what's going on in the Persian Terrace room here. Well, right now we're doing the final touches on the faux painting of the ceilings, also the columns to make them look like their original detailing colors from the 1920s. Uh, when, it, when the hotel first opened. That includes the full wood graining onto the plaster ceilings, the colors uh, very much representing what we found in going through old layers of paint and also underneath glued on ceilings. And the same on the uh, columns themselves, which are all plaster. Additionally, they're hanging the chandeliers today. The new crystal chandeliers came in. These are not originals like the other areas of the hotel, but are actually based on photographs that we had to be closely resembling what those lights were at that time. And they're all going up in anticipation for Friday's uh, private event here um, with the parade committee. And tell us about the artwork up on the ceiling here and how that's being restored. In the center section uh, of the ceiling in this room are two hand paintings, one on either side of uh, mermaids or sirens as they're called um, in mythology and they represent the four seasons. They were severely damaged uh, with the gluing on of the ceiling years ago. We took it down, uh, plaster had to be restored and then our one of our in-resident artists has been up there and completed the res restoration of both of those paintings uh, earlier today. Day. So they'll now be striped out around the perimeter and then the ceiling, a seal coat will be put on, a varnish will be put on to protect them and they'll be ready for people to look at again and dance under as they were for many years. So when people come back into this room when the hotel reopens, are they going to see exactly the way it appeared in 1924? Very, very close. Other than some areas of carpet that we'll be adding to control the sound a little bit and also the comfort of people eating here and, and enjoying themselves here. Other than that, the room will look very much like it did when it opened in 1924.